I'm laying out my plans for a new national network of manufacturing innovation. And these are going to be institutes of manufacturing excellence, where some of our most advanced engineering schools and our most innovative manufacturers collaborate. Light brings us the news of the universe. Light brings us the news of the universe. And that's never been more true than today. Light now brings the news of the universe through fiber optic cable to every single corner and part of the globe. And it's called uh, photonics. We at UCSB are very, very proud to be a part of the AIM Photonics activity and we pride ourselves with having uh, leading edge instrumentation for measurements um, both at the materials level, the device level, and at the system performance level. So this is a way photonics is done today. It's two or three inch wafers, typically in the phosphide or gallium arsenide or gallium nitride. And our focus is transitioning this process to fabricating on silicon substrates. Silicon offers large-scale fabrication, the most cutting-edge technologies in terms of being able to print very small features, very, very high yield. Everything's sort of been figured out and tuned for high-volume manufacturing. So if we can get photonics onto that platform, there are big, big advantages. In this lab, we are developing the technologies that grow up in a world of virtual computing where you interconnect data centers. And so we are driven towards terabit pipes, chips that can switch at much lower power than the current generation chips because power is going to be one of the roadblocks to building this infrastructure. And that's what the world is about right now, is connection with low power, low cost, and small footprint and this lab is focused on doing that for cloud computing and virtualization. The environment here at UCSB is terrific for someone from industry who wants to come in and get a lot of work done really fast with top caliber people. So it's a very welcoming environment. Uh, the, there's always space and time uh, for us to interact with the staff here and the students. The culture of collaboration among the faculty lets you build large multidisciplinary programs and allows for a free and sort of easy cross-pollination of ideas, which is really, I think, where breakthroughs happen within research. It's my honor to announce what's already been announced. The public-private partnership of over $600 million to create American Institute for Manufacturing Integrated Photonics, or AIM Photonics. It's gonna develop a, an open foundry that will give startups, students, and large manufacturers alike access to the same cutting-edge facilities reducing the time needed to go from prototype to development to the next great idea. But ladies and gentlemen, we remain and continue to be the most innovative country in the world. And innovation, innovation is who we are.